today's video is all about visiting Santorini while on a cruise. There's a lot of things you need to know. Most importantly, how to get up to the top of that giant hill because it's actually a lot more complicated than you think. But we'll show you how to do that. We'll show you the different towns, some food, some drinks, some wineries, everything covered in this video. As you can see, the ship is in the middle of the water, which means this is a tender port. And as you can imagine, Santorini is an incredibly popular cruise port, so everyone on the ship is trying to get off at the same time. On Celebrity, I'm sure it's similar for others, starting in the morning, they allowed you to get a number system, kind of like the deli at your local grocery store. You picked up the number, and then they called by number to have folks come down and board the tender versus forming a long line. The boat got here at 8.30, that's when the first tender was, and uh, we waited to about 10 o'clock because we have late dinner reservations. That was the uh, the prime move when we got our ticket to come on the tender. We only had to wait about five minutes, and as you can see, this one's not even that busy. It's a whole upper floor too. And we got over here for a giant, 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 giant line. We're also a theme park channel, so we love going to theme parks. And this, you know, has a very low capacity. I think like 500 people an hour. So we're going to try to take a boat to a different city and get up that way. We recommend that because this line looks miserable. We are able to bypass this line. Uh, 60 euros total for two people, 30 apiece. Takes you to Ia, the other city, by a boat. Then buses you up to the top so you can skip this cable car line because this is the only way to get up. Real quick to put things in perspective, we are at number one on the map. We're going to take the boat to number two. Let's go. Heads up though, you still gotta walk up this hill. So you don't fully get out of it. You're not walking up a hill. I think this is our bus. So our great idea is backfiring a little bit. We're, we're walking all, all the way over to this bus up there. I dropped this off way around the corner over there. So you don't like waiting in line. I, I hate waiting in line. This still might be a slightly better option. We're still huffing and puffing up. It's a pretty steep road here. Get to a bus. Do we know? Do we even know if this is the right bus? I don't know. Two hours after we left the boat, we finally made it to the top of the It's taking you two hours from the boat. Yeah, yeah. There's only two cruise ships here right now. The third one's coming in a little bit, and this place is jammed packed tour groups everywhere so two key learnings so far with santorini bring your patience and you gotta like crowds Lots of great views, uh, basically. It's great views, shopping, a mix of tourist junk, probably half tourist junk, and half the artwork that actually does look pretty nice, uh, and restaurants. So you put, just come along and there's this kind of main promenade. And you can walk, you can actually walk all the way back over to Fira if you wanted to, but the city, there's great views. is home to a few wineries. We visited Venti Sano's winery. Uh, we took a bus there and you just request to the bus driver to get dropped off there and they'll drop you off just about 100 feet from the winery. We got a short tour showing off how the vines actually grow low to the ground. They grow them in these giant kind of clumps because of the wind. They have to grow them low to the ground. We, we were there just at towards the end of harvest season and they walked us through kind of the old production facility. And this was before they had a lot of electricity on the island. So a lot of it's gravity powered from top to bottom, kind of going down these different floors. And then you can kind of see here, there's giant pipes that went all the way down to the water. And when the wine was ready, they just push it through the pipes and filled up barrels at the actual 
water. It ended with a nice wine tasting with some food. I mean, this view is probably the best view from a winery I've ever seen. It was a really great time. Let's talk local buses. We're here in the center of Fira, kind of the transportation hub, and there's a bus to each of the various cities. You just kind of walk up, there's a conductor on board that takes your money, and uh, super easy. It's a little bit chaotic to get on the bus, uh, but uh, they dropped us off right at the winery, and uh, we stood on the side of the road by the winery, and the bus stopped for us again and took us back. Yeah, quick 10 minute bus ride. So, uh, Thumbs up, uh, easy way to get around because taxis are not prevalent here, so they can be very expensive. And we made it up to the top in Fira, kind of the more, less traditional kind of town. You know, Ia is gonna be more your white colored domes and kind of what you see in all the picture books. Picture books, I don't even know why I said that. I don't even know that's a thing. Uh, cool, you can see like some other islands out there but fear is kind of the, the main central area this is where you'll ride the cable car up to so if you are just coming up here for a quick little bit from the cruise cable car would take you somewhere up into this area and uh you would be exploring this town but definitely would recommend going over to ia as well because you can see still looks cool over here but not that classic vibe that you expect from saint Torini. lots of lots of shopping here crowded streets it's only going to get crowded and more because everyone likes to come over to this side of the island to watch the sunsets so these restaurants do fill up we'll show you more about that because we have something special planned here in a minute here's a view of the cable car it starts down there you can see it it's just a couple cabins that run together it ends up there i'm showing you this now I'll probably have a little bit of video later if it's not too dark by the time we start walking down but we are planning to walk down because one, two, three cruise ships in port. They all leave right around the same time. About 10,000 people will be in line for a cable car that does 500 people an hour. You do the math. I don't want to get on a plane to have to catch up with my ship. So we are going to, to try to walk down this path. Lots of jewelry stores here. And lots of steps. Be prepared to walk. Swung into the Santorini Brewing Company. Uh, love the names of the beers here. It's uh, nothing beats a lager on a hot day. Cool cup too. Oh, that's good. One pro tip is go to the site cruisemapper.com and it will tell you by port how many ships and what ships are in port that day. So you can kind of plan accordingly. I mean, obviously you can't change what ships are here, but uh, if you're trying to book and want to see how busy it's going to be, that could be one thing to sway you. Or, I mean, it just helps you understand, okay, plan accordingly. When do they arrive? Do they arrive at the same time? Do they leave at the same time? So we found that super helpful. An hour or so before sunset, and it's filling up similar to kind of like as you'd expect at like Disney with parades and fireworks. All the benches are taken, but you can still walk up to one of these walls here. Watch sunset though, just went behind that cloud, so I'm not sure we're seeing any sunset tonight. But plenty of room to still walk up here and stand on the ledge to watch the sunset. We ended the day at PK's Cocktail Bar, one of the original bars on the island, with what was supposed to be a view of sunset, but as you can see, clouds got in the way. Really cool looking menu here. All kinds of cocktails. Just really neatly written out. Can't beat this view. We, I will say we did end up booking this about six months in advance and that's why we got, according to the lady, not my words, but the waitress's words, a seat in the house. So if you know you're coming on a cruise, you're gonna book that soon enough. Go to their website and reserve this in advance. Cause you'll get an amazing view like this. As we sit here to maybe or may not see the sunset, um, we still got to walk down the stairs over there and I'll show you that. Uh, I'll edit that in right now. Started the walk down and I have to say, 
uh, mine isn't smelling like donkey crap. Uh, this would actually probably be the perfect spot to watch sunset, and then you could get down quite easily to the ship because there's no one here standing here to watch sunset. So if sunset actually happened, you can stand here and watch. And then I uh, just kind of want to wrap up because I figured this is a good way to kind of over show our whole day in Santorini. Now, if you're coming in by cruise, that's probably why you're watching this video, um, you don't have a lot of time to do a lot of things because you got to bring your patience and you got to be willing to wait in some lines. So we got off the cruise ship over there. We tendered to the dock right there. And instead of waiting in the long cable car line, you saw earlier we got on the boat. The boat took it all the way over to that city on the wall over there. Yeah. We then took the bus from Ia to here, Fira transferred and went to the winery that's a couple miles behind those buildings. So, you know, you can't do what all most cruise ships are here for like nine, 10 hours. So I would say definitely try to get to Ia. The, the boat transfer that we did, wow, it took a little longer than we expected. I think that was a really smooth way to do it versus trying to wait in line, come up here and then take a bus or a cab over to Ia. So that would be my recommendation. Try to make sure you see Ia you probably have a little bit, you probably have two hour or two in Ia, hour or two in Fira, hour or two to do something else, whether that's a winery. And that's probably most of your time uh, when you add in all the, the travel time to get back to the ships and stuff. Thanks for watching.